Before we get into today's video, we feel we must inform our subscribers that we have received our second strike on our channel and are two strikes away from having our channel removed from YouTube altogether. All for speaking the truth of the things that are happening out in the world today. As long as the Father wills it, we will continue to bring the truth to as many as we can. So please make sure you know where to find us on our other platforms. Free speech is no longer accepted in society. The truth that has been given freely to the world is now considered to the world as misinformation and is no longer accepted. This is truly sad days indeed. Now, we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of Messiah Yahushua and our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as the day of Messiah is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called Elohim, or that is worshipped, so that he, as Elohim, sitteth in the temple of Elohim showing himself that he is Elohim. There are many Antichrists out there. There are many speculations of people that have been called the Antichrist, the lawless one, the son of perdition. But none of them either stay in power long enough to really do much or are missing several elements of the description of the Antichrist mentioned in Daniel 11. Not to mention that the men of sin really does not come to power over a kingdom in the traditional sense, like as in a president or a king. In Daniel 11.21, we see that a vile person to whom they shall not give the honor of the kingdom, but shall come in peaceably and obtain the kingdom by flatteries. What if I told you there is a man living among us that does fit the description of the lawless one mentioned throughout scripture? He is a king without a kingdom, yet is able to rage war against a people without them even knowing they are being destroyed by him. And he has taken this warfare to the world. He is able to tell a crowd of people that their children should not live to see tomorrow, yet they will cheer him for it. He has a complete disregard for women and has been known for treating them very poorly. He has involvement in almost every aspect of society and has the technology, the capital, and the workforce to enslave the entire world to do his bidding. All in the name of saving the planet. He is being hailed as a prophet in the media for having predicted the events we see happening today. He is working tirelessly to have his minions change the way our father's creation has been created, releasing millions if not billions of mosquitoes out into the world to counter and depopulate natural mosquitoes, trying to impose eating fake meat to reduce the use of cattle worldwide. He has his hands in the GMO industry, helping to change the way our food is grown buying millions of acres of farmland around the U.S., causing food to be grown without seeds so that you only can get seeds from one organization, involved one way or another in the pharmaceutical industry, funding the V poisons that are being created and distributed today, testing them around the world on unsuspecting human beings. But this is only the beginning. There is so much more that people don't know. We will not mention his name in this video, as most negative things being said about this person are being removed and or censored. But those with ears to hear will know who we are talking about. But what also must be done in order for this to be understood is for us to put this person to the test of scripture, pray to the Father in heaven to give you the truth on the matter, and the revelations will come. Let's take a look at the description of this individual from the book of Daniel. We will read Daniel 11:21 through 45. 
We will post articles and events that are taking place in the earth today that show how this individual is fulfilling these scriptures. And in his estate shall stand up a vile person, to whom they shall not give the honor of the kingdom, but he shall come in peaceably and obtain the kingdom by flatteries. And with the arms of a flood shall they be overflown from before him, and shall be broken, yea, also the prince of the covenant. And after the league made with him he shall work deceitfully, for he shall come up and shall become strong with a small people. He shall enter peaceably even upon the fattest places of the province. And he shall do that which his fathers have not done, nor his father's fathers. He shall scatter among them the prey, and spoil the riches. Yea, he shall forecast his devices against the strongholds, even for a time. Then shall he return into his land with great riches, and his heart shall be against the holy covenant, and he shall do exploits, and return to his own land. At the time appointed he shall return, and come unto the south, but it shall not be as the former, or as the latter. For the ships of Shittim shall come against him, therefore he shall be grieved, and return, and have indignation against the holy covenant. So shall he do. He shall even return and have intelligence with them that forsake the holy covenant. And the arms shall stand on his part, and they shall pollute the sanctuary of strength. And they shall take away the daily sacrifice, and they shall place the abomination that maketh desolate. And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people that do know their Elohim shall be strong and do exploits. And they that understand among the people shall instruct many. Yet they shall fall by the sword and by flame, by captivity and by spoil many days. Now, when they shall fall, they shall be holpen with a little help. But many shall cleave to them with flatteries. And some of them of understanding shall fall, to try them, and to purge, and to make them white, even to the time of the end, because it is yet for a time appointed. And the king shall do according to his will, and he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every Elohim, and shall speak marvelous things against the Elohim of Elohim and shall prosper until the indignation be accomplished, and that, that is determined, shall be done. Neither shall he regard the Elohim of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard any Elohim, for he shall magnify himself above all. But in his estate shall he honor the Elohim of forces, and an Elohim who his fathers knew not shall he honor with gold and silver and with precious stones and pleasant things. Thus shall he do in the most strongholds with a strange Elohim, whom he shall acknowledge, increase with glory, and he shall cause them to rule over many, and shall divide the land for gain. And at that time of the end shall the king of the south push at him, and the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind, with chariots and with horsemen, and many ships, and he shall enter into the countries, and shall overflow and pass over. He shall enter also into the glorious land, and many countries shall be overthrown. But these shall escape out of his hand, even Edom and Moab, and the chief of the children of Ammon. He shall stretch forth his hand upon the countries, and the land of Egypt shall not escape. But he shall have power over the treasures of gold and silver, and over all precious things of Egypt. And the Libyans and the Ethiopians shall be at his steps. But tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him. Therefore he shall go forth with great fury, and destroy, and utterly to make away many. And he shall plant the tabernacles of his palace between the seas and the glorious holy mountain. 
yet he shall come to his end, and none shall help him. Did you think the Antichrist was just going to show up with a sign and says, Hey, I'm the Antichrist. There are many out there that do think this, and I do feel sorry for them. I truly do, and will pray for them. At the start of this video, I read the verse that says the Antichrist must be revealed, but nowhere does it say how, when, or even to whom he is revealed to. The Antichrist government and its Mark of the Beast system is being set up right before our very eyes. Yes, most church pulpits are totally silent that the end of the age is upon us. Most pastors are keeping it fluffy, trying to get back to normal and getting their ties coming back in. Woe unto these pastors who are negligent in warning those entrusted to them. So very many won't be ready. Revelation 3.10 because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all of the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. The word temptation here in the Greek is padasmas, which means an experiment, attempt, trial, proving. Isn't this what we see among the people now? An experiment? covering all of the world? Brothers and sisters, the coming of our Messiah is at hand, and he is even now going through the door. The time left is very short, and we are so fortunate to have been chosen to witness these things. All praise goes to the Father in heaven for all his glory, power, and wisdom. Amen.